Today we want to introduce to you our newest member of our dressage saddle family called the High Group Dressage Saddle, which is built for a certain type of extreme top lines. Therefore, we present you a very extreme horse, almost 18 hands tall. You see long lines, and what you see especially is the, the rising back line to the crew. The uh, Amerigo philosophy is that we want to support the stretch between middle of the back and middle of the neck. Especially with this type of horse, we need everything we can get here just to achieve a freer hind leg. The biggest uh, uh, issue would be you would work against the top line, which would result in that. You see the marked areas on the horse. This is the shoulder blade. This is the deepest point of the top line, and this is approximately center of gravitation. The Amerigo philosophy means that we have to have the same radius, angles, distances in the saddle than we find in the top line. Key distance is shoulder blade to the deepest point, because horses can carry most of the weight easily here on the base of the wheels. So, of course, if we don't have this distance in our saddle, we miss our goals. When we stick the saddle on, you see the position of the gullet is here, then the pommel, and then the deepest point of the saddle, this distance has to correspond with the distance between shoulder blade and deepest point of the top. Then you see here a very moderate smooth angle following top line and not interfering with the function of the height. Uh, even if you this, this is not going to disturb the swinging hind leg. For the rider, we want to achieve a position on the saddle as you would stand on the ground with the hip position straight so, we, so you can achieve a balance line between here, shoulder, hip, heel. What you see as well is that we very often put three billets on, even on long billets, because horses have a special position of the girth, which is given by the shape of the sternum. You see it here. We have concave, convex, concave. And we want that the first billet pulls vertically to the first buckle of the girth. So with this we have all the lines and all the shapes under control. Also in movement we have a very solid fit of the saddle.